The message you're about to listen to is a message from Apostle Eric Nyamiche, the chairman of the Church of Pentecost. Apostle Eric Nyamiche preaches the gospel in its simplest form to help the believers walk in Christ and also how the believer relate with his world. This year, the message is on unleashing the church to possess nation. Join us and let's learn from Apostle Eric Nyamiche and be a blessing to the world. If you are new to this page, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell so that when new videos are uploaded, you can have access to it. Make sure you go to our own page and check out for more videos. Thank you. When we talk about possessing the nations, we are just saying that we want to equip the church and then unleash the church, release the church to go outside the church house to everywhere they work, everywhere they live and change the world, change their world with the principles of the kingdom of God. With the principles of the kingdom of God. The theme for this year is I will build my church. One of the major things that we seek to come out of this theme is one of the major things that we are looking for is that the church will understand the dual purpose of the church. That the church is called out from the world to worship him. But he has sent us back into the world to serve his purpose in the world. We don't seem to understand this. So we think that God lives in the church house. Once we close from church, we think that it is all over. We, we become so ordinary. So we want to understand the dual identity of the church. He has called us to himself. But he sent us back into the world to serve his purpose in the world. Now in the Old Testament, we had the priests and the king. They were two individual people who functioned differently. The priest couldn't do the work of the king. Neither will the king do the work of the priest. Saul tried it and he lost his throne. Because he was a king, he shouldn't function as a priest. When he did it, he lost his throne. But Jesus Christ wore Jesus, that he, he served those two offices. He is the high priest and he is the king of kings and the Lord of lords. First John chapter 4, please. John chapter 4. John. Chapter 4, verse 17. Chapter 4, verse 17. The scripture says, In this way, love is made complete. The last line says that because in this world we are like Him. The King James says that as He is, so are we in this world. As he is, so are we in this world. If Jesus is the priest, so are we in this world. If he is the king, so are we in this world. Now in the New Testament, the new creation is created to do good works. Title. So 
Just hold that one. The first one is that as he is, so are we. He is the priest and we are priests. If he is king, we are kings. After all, the Bible says he is our big brother. And we are joined hands with him. As he is, so are we in the The believer has been created to meet this dual identity. He has created us to meet this dual identity. Now, Let's read from 1 Peter chapter 2. I read from 4 and 5. As you come to him, the living stone, rejected by men but chosen by God, precious to him, you also like living stones being built into a spiritual house to be holy priesthood offering spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ he says that we have been called to be what holy priesthood Revelation 1 verse 6. He has made us to be a kingdom and priests to serve his God and Father. Now, so we say that the Bible says that we have been made priests. Bible says why are you Romans chapter 5. Romans 5, verse 17. For if by the trespass of one man, dead reign through that one man, how much more will those who receive God's abundant provision of grace and and of the gift of righteousness reign in life through the one man Jesus Christ. So Romans is saying that we must reign in life through Jesus Christ. Now to reign in life simply means that you are a king. And Peter and Revelations and John are saying that we are priests. And now Peter and John, I can add this for this seven say, yeah, yeah, I suffer. Now Peter will put these two together in First Peter two verse nine. Peter, I can say I suffer near a him for I assemble a boom of First Peter chapter nine. First Peter chapter two verse nine. First Peter two nine. But you are a chosen people. God has chosen us from among the nations from among the tribes he has chosen us he says you are a chosen people a royal priesthood now he says royal priesthood so he's taking the royal from the father that we shall reign in life we are kings then he says we are a priesthood so Peter puts the two together we are royals and we are priests you see you can't say that you are going to your hometown and go and be the king or the chief, when you don't qualify. What will qualify you to be a, a chief? In your hometown. Yes. What will qualify you? Uh -huh. Yes. Family your, line. Your family line. Your what does that mean? Just come closer. We all have family lines. Uh, so, what do you actually mean? 
Opa, tira essa aí. Yeah. He has explained it. Also, when your father or your uncle is a chief and he dies, you can inherit it. Yeah. So you ought to be a royal before you can be a chief. As I said, your audition, son, let me your honey. The confessions that we have in most towns is because of the fact that people have come to buy the the, the throne. And yet, near my basbas, I see in Chrome, they say, "Be my ba abeto." Now they don't qualify. And so, I hear in your media. They have purchased it because they have money and they cause confusions. But for us, the Bible says that you are a royal. So we qualify to be kings and we are priests. You see, in the Old Testament, it was only Melchizedek and the Messiah who functioned as priests and kings. But in the new creation, we are kings and we are priests. Somebody will have to explain this thing to us. Christianity is having the courage to leave out who you are in the face of opposition. But you always need a teacher. A good teacher to teach you who you are. Scripture says that they that know their God, they will be strong and do exploits. But you see, those who know who they are, they are more than conquerors. Somebody will have to teach you. This Ethiopia Enoch has traveled all the way from Ethiopia to Israel to worship. Ethiopia Enoch now called Israel Now, when he was coming back, he was still reading about Christ in the book of Isaiah. Then the Spirit of God wakes Philip. To go and ask him one simple question. Do you understand what you are reading? Say, how will I understand? Unless someone explains it to me. I'm praying that through the theme, I will build my church. We will be equipped to have the understanding that we are called from the world to God to worship him as priests but we are sent back into the world to act as kings titles chapter 2 verse 13 and 14 while we wait titles 2 13 and 14 why we wait for the blessed hope? The glorious appearing of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ. There's something that we ought to do. He says, Who gave himself for us to redeem us from all wickedness? To purify us for himself, a people. That are his very own. He got to do what is good. He has purified us for himself. But we are a people who are eager to do what is good. He, we have to be like Jesus. When Peter said, How God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good. So those of us who have been called to God we have come to offer sacrifice to him as priests. This we do well. We come and then we worship him. We pray but it is, that is not the only thing that we have been called 
We have to go out there in the world and serve his purpose. And to serve his purpose. Now Mark chapter 3. I read verse 14. Mark 3, 14. He appointed 12. Now power do me no Designating them apostles that they might be with him and that he might send them out to preach. So he called the twelve to do what? Be with him. But he still sent them out to go and preach. When Jesus resurrected from the dead and then he met the disciples in that room he told them as the father has sent me so send I you so you have to go into the world and then change the world it is not enough to be coming here all the time and churching we have to go out there and change our world you need a teacher to teach you this one it is a scripture that will help us know this and a good teacher you see we are kings so we are not afraid of the people on our land you see when you are a king you must work as a king kings don't work like this you should be a sick king kings work like that and especially my brothers the Ashantis as for them you see, yeah, it just don't work like that. You put on his cloth and do something like that. And then stretch the arms like that. So from here to here, all this radius is covered. It. <laughs> and then, you see, he may be a distant relative of the Otunfo, yeah. but he wants people to know that he is from the royal family. <laughs> Somebody should tell you who you are. Otherwise, someone can come here and then begin to tell us the power of the witches in your house. Who have followed you from all the way Ghana? They have come here to pray on you. This teaching is putting fear in you. It's taking the power of the king out of you. To be subject to things that you, know, you need not to be subject to. And then he will tell you that if you can get some water. Put it in your soup. It will help you. I will not be surprised that some of you have anointing oil in your bags. I will not be surprised because your teacher is not a good one. It's making you a slave in the palace. Your teacher is making you a slave in the palace. Today, when you go home, Paul, and there's a coffee, anointing oil. If the blood of Jesus couldn't save you, what will anointing oil do to you? And because of these things, we are effectively destroying the foundation of the church. When you give the average elder, sometimes even pastors, Mike, the only thing that they come saying is that we are going to buy. What are you going to buy? So people are always going for prayer meetings, but they are not relying on scripture. 
I'm not saying that there are no demons. There are demons. I'm not saying there are no witches. There are witches. But the Bible says that we have been lifted far above principalities and powers. The Bible says that they are under his feet. His feet. And he did that for the church. His feet. Trying to give us a picture of the Old Testament, what happens? When you defeat the foe. Like David and Goliath. David and Goliath and Tokwano. You will not cut Goliath's head. Unless you have lifted up your leg like that. And, and step on his neck. Now the net, so that everybody will know that you have conquered Goliath. So your enemy is always under your feet. And the Bible says that where we are seated, we have been lifted together with him in heavenly places. Bible, where he is seated. And these forces are under his feet. We are seated at the same place. So these forces cannot be on our head. They are also under our feet. Hallelujah. Bible says, "Baby, I yes with you. No, I turn for no. I shall not ask. Now, so on the earth, na onyani ye no. On the earth, na osroho. Inti say, I shall not ask. The other one, so I turn for no. I shall not ask. Now, I want you to put on your strength. Because I, 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 I shall, I shall not come to Put on your strength. Ma, how you doing? And walk as a king. On this planet Earth. And then change and cause proper order. When there's corruption around you, let your light shine and drive the corruption. Because we should be able to rule the land. Because scripture says we must reign in life. And you are a priest. To offer spiritual sacrifice on Taking the issues of the land to God in prayer. God, this is what is happening in our nations. Father, this is what is happening to this brother. Father, this is what is happening to this sister. Take it to God in prayer. And at the break of the day. Walk as king and put no, in the Don't live in the house where yourself and your spouse, your marriage is getting on the rocks and then sit and stay. No. And trust me, Work at it. With the scriptures. You don't have any other thing. But the scriptures and the power of the Holy Ghost. I want to rest my voice for the sake of your time. But we have dual purpose. We have been called to serve God. We are sent us back into the world to change the world. So don't be part of them. Because you are not like them. You are like Jesus. When you go to your workplace, represent him well. Represent the king well. Don't be part of them. When you are in church, represent him well as a priest. When you are at home and your child is sick, wear your priestly garments. Lay hands on the boy and say, In the name of Jesus, don't say that in Elder Simmons you are hard. Put on your priestly garments. When your husband disturbs you, Put on your priestly garment. Don't be insulting. Put on your priestly garment. Let me read this and then we'll pray. First Samuel chapter 2. First Samuel chapter 2. Verse 1. 
verse 18. 1 Samuel 2, 18. But Samuel was ministering before the Lord. Now somewhere, uh, uh, sorry, already. Now, he said, but, and because verse of that, let me read the verse that precedes it. The sin of the young man was very great in the Lord's sight. It was very great. Hophni and Phinehas. And Samuel was living together with them in the same house. The sin of the young man was very great in the Lord's sight. For they were treating the Lord's offering with contempt. But instead of joining them, this is what the scripture says. But Samuel was ministering before the Lord. But Samuel, I'm from the home. There was somewhere there. Oh, sorry, I ready. And I said, Oh, soon I ready. A boy wearing a linen effort. Samuel, I bear more. I share my sofa. Samuel was not a Levite. Samuel, now on Phil Levi, a Bushyam. It was a small boy whose mother brought him to the priest. And the mother made a garment for him. And if every year he will bring him another one. And I'm sure the mother would tell him that you are a priest. And the small boy will do that. No, I want drink. So everywhere Eli will go, Samuel will follow him. So if Eli come here, be I not Samuel in the And because the mother has told him you are a priest. No, I want drink. Say, oh, you are so full. The mother is a good teacher. No, I mean, oh, you are a teacher for Papa. Even though Samuel does not belong to the Levites. Although, when we say Samuel now, on can leave your position and go But by what he wore. He acted as a priest until he was a judge who functioned as a priest. Today I want to tell you. You are a priest. Put on your priestly garment. And you are a king. Put on your royal crown. And let us go out and change nations. How many of us will go with me to change nations? How much will we gain if all of us know that we have this dual purpose? We are priests and we are kings. As a priest in your home. At as a priest at your workplace. At as a priest on the bus. Even in your past time when you are discussing at as a priest. Then at as a king, at as a king, then act as a king and bring order to the society. Don't join the community. Don't join the office romance. You are, you are a king. Don't join them. How many of you have received something tonight? Let me see that you and and you then let's rise to yeah, sorry. I want you to be very quiet and then ask yourself, God, what are you trying to tell me? Put on your priestly garment. Put on your crown. And be the priest and the king that God desires. Shall we be quiet now? Let's pray in our hearts. Who am I? 
I'm the new creation. Called to be a priest and a king on this planet Earth. From today forward, you ought to behave like that. Let the elders teach this. Uh, so from penum four, we are in church. Let's say, but time you need. Because greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Also because we are kings. You are the man in authority in, in that village or in that town, in that city, because you are the king. And I'll ask Apostle Bonan to pray. We stand before the throne of grace once again and we want to thank you so much for your word. Today, we stand as kings and priests in your kingdom. We thank you so much. We have been empowered today to go and live our lives as priests and kings. We pray for strength. We pray for grace. We pray for directives. If there is anyone here who is so weak, we pray that Lord, may you encourage that person. May you strengthen that person. In the name of Jesus. Church, may you go out there in the power of the Holy Spirit and live as a king and live as a priest, as queens for the Lord. With God in charge, we are more than conquerors. May the power of the Lord go and be with us. In Jesus' name, amen.